Marketing firms and advertising agencies spend thousands of hours and millions of dollars every year trying to find the perfect colors and designs to make their products as appealing as possible. Think bright red to make it fun and energetic, or maybe green to make it natural and healthy. And of course, in the girls' toys aisle, pink, 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 pink. But what if you're given a different brief to try to sell as few products as possible and make your product as unappealing as you can? Well, this was the mission for one company, and this is the color that they came up with. Pantone 448C. It's been called the world's ugliest color and is saving lives all around the world. Color psychology is the field of studying different colors and how they impact human behavior. And we see color in nature being used in all kinds of ways, including aposematism, which is where animals might be brightly colored to warn potential predators that they're vicious or dangerous or toxic and not to attack them. And something to do with color is cultural. So in English, we have the phrase green with envy, but the equivalent phrase in German is yellow with envy. So what's the story with Pantone 448C? Well, it goes back to 2012 when the Australian government was trying to introduce a series of policies to save lives due to smoking. At that time, about 19,000 Australians were dying every year unnecessarily due to health conditions associated with cigarettes. Over the previous years, laws had come into effect to fade out cigarette advertising from TV, from newspapers and online. Anyhow, what I've got here is a new brand of cigarettes, Winfield. Have a good look at them. Get with the forward-looking people. Introducing new Virginia Slims. The slim cigarette for women only. Tailored for the feminine hand. The health department wanted to get rid of the final place where cigarette ads were, on the packets themselves. And the policy was called plain packaging. And what they would do is replace the cigarette company's branding with large health warnings and a simple plain descriptor of what the product was. So that leads to a question. If you don't have any branding, what colour do you make the package? A market research firm, GFK, were given this task to come up with a colour that would be as undesirable as possible. And that's quite a mission. So they started with a series of colours and went to different sample audiences and they started to hone in on a brownie green mixture. And here's what they came up with, Pantone 448C. Now when asked about what the connotations were, they were universally negative. And my favourite part is that it did not elicit any positive associations and had limited potential to do so. So while the government had its color, there was more controversy to come. Firstly, how would you describe this color? I think if I was gonna have a go, I'd say it's a dark murky brown. And it's actually quite a hard color to describe. The test audiences were told to describe it and they did use words like murky, also unclear and greeny and hazy. And there was one person in the group who must have been a bit of a teacher's pet who described it as the color of smoker's lungs. And the company that came up with it, they called this color dark olive. Now, I don't actually think that's a bad name at all. And when it was released to the media, this is what they called it, saying that cigarette packages would soon be olive green in color. But there was one group who didn't like this name, the Australian Olive Association. And their CEO sent a cease and desist letter to stop using the phrase olive in the color name and instead should call it drab green. Now, the health minister who was fighting big tobacco had better things to do with her time, so she said that she would extend an olive branch to the association and give it a different name. So in the Australian law, it's actually named under the colour system, Pantone 448C. So this was badged the world's ugliest colour. Now, the executive director of the Pantone Colour Institute did say, we consider all colours equally. There is no such thing as the ugliest colour. But they also have a colour of the year, so I'm not sure I believe them. But 448C, it does the job of making things look unappealing. So from 2012, all cigarettes in Australia had to be wrapped in this visual awfulness. And Australia led the way in plain packaging, being followed by New Zealand, UK, France, Thailand and more. And a lot of them followed the Australian model and actually used the same colour. Perhaps unsurprisingly, Big Tobacco fought back, taking the Australian government to the High Court, to the World Trade Organization, and every time have been beaten. This is legal to do. So did it work in achieving its mission of reducing smoking rates? Well, a lot of researchers have done a lot of rigorous work on this. In fact, the Journal of Tobacco Control did a special issue on the introduction of this policy. What they found is that smokers value the packets less, they value the quality of the cigarettes less, and importantly, Australian cigarette smoking rates have dropped. In fact, while it's still too high, Australia has one of the lowest smoking rates in the world. And if there's a lesson, I think it's this. Not everything has to be beautiful, and in fact, being ugly can save lives. And when it comes to smoking, there's no silver bullet, or in this case, there's no drab green bullet, 
but plain packaging works, ugly colors works. So here's to you, 448C. I'm Julian O'Shea, thanks for watching. I've got new, weird, wonderful, and geeky videos every week. So press subscribe and see you then.